It is the title of the story, and it comes courtesy of uh, the New York Post, who uh, overall, I think, do a pretty good job of more unbiased coverage. But it's uh, the, the, <laughs> the title of this article is Elon Musk's upcoming SNL hosting gig causes outrage among stars. But the, the name of the article is Elon Musk's upcoming SNL hosting gig causes outrage among stars. Um, on the SNL cast uh, who are upset, upset that Elon Musk will be hosting uh, the show uh, this weekend. And uh, this is what uh, the first part of the article had to say. Knock, knock. Who's there? Elon Musk. And typically, typically chucklesome cast and the typically chucklesome cast. I cannot say that word and, <laughs> and not laugh. I'm not saying I don't like the word. I'm just making an observation. You can't put the word chucklesome in an article and not have it be like the standout of the whole first paragraph of your article. I can't just like breeze over that and just like read that with a straight face. Like I read that word frequently. Chucklesome. And the typically chucklesome cast of Saturday Night Live is not laughing. <laughs> Ironically, that sentence makes me laugh really hard. <laughs> this is no laughing matter. You know what, guys? The typically chucklesome cast of Saturday Night Live is not laughing, okay? <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> okay, so all right, let me get on with this article. Giggles turn to groans. Giggles turn to groans. <laughs> it's not getting any less funny. This this article to me is just inadvertently more funny than it was meant to be. Giggles turn to groans for some members of the SNL ensemble Saturday when NBC announced that Musk, 49 years old, will helm their sketch comedy show as host alongside of musical guest Miley Cyrus on May 8th. The contentious Tesla CEO will be the first non-actor or non-athlete to host Saturday Night Live since uh, Trump spearheaded the sat satirical sketches in 2015. Musk tauntingly confirmed his upcoming MC gig, tweeting, Let's just fi let's find out just how live Saturday Night Live really is. Um, I like how they like they make it sound like that tweet in itself was just super a con super controversial thing to say. Musk tauntingly confirmed his upcoming gig by tweeting, "Let's just find out how live Saturday Night Live really is." Like making it sound like that statement was taunting or just very dubious to me it's just a little bit cheeky right it, but it seems pretty like pretty tame by comedial standards i mean you know the bias is in against elon musk and some of the media when they consider a tweet like that to be remotely edgy or controversial <laughs> right <laughs> oh man um, the polarizing tech tycoon boasting a network net worth of approximately 179 billion punctuated his cryptic post with a grinning devil emoji to let his 52 million Twitter followers know he means business. <laughs> I'm sorry. I, I normally like the New York post. Like I, <laughs> But as I read this out loud, um, I'm realizing this article is more ridiculous than I anticipated. I have to read, I have to read that short, I have to read that short paragraph again, because to me, it's just so, again, inadvertently funny. I don't know how, as a writer, you write something like this and you're not laughing as you're doing it. So who's the journalist on this? Let me look up their name. Asia Grace. Asia Grace, I hope you were laughing when you wrote this. I hope you're laughing when you wrote this. Okay, let me read it again. 
the polarizing tech tycoon boasted a net worth of approximately 179 billion punctuated his cryptic post with a grinning devil emoji to let his 52 million Twitter followers know he means business. <laughs> you would think this guy was really just a, running a satanic cult or something. And um, when in, in reality, <laughs> in reality, all he's tweeting is, Let's find out how live Saturday Night Live really is. I mean, it's just such a generic and safe and like good humored tweet. Saturday Night Live quipster uh, Bowen Yang seems to have hoped that Musk's social media memo was nothing more than a bad joke. (laughs) Guys, I'm sorry it's taking me so long to get through this article, but it's just it's so funny to me. Saturday night. It sounds like it's this article to me. It reads like something out of Babylon B. It sounds like a parody of itself. Talk about making a mountain out of a molehill. This is it. Um, so the article goes on to write, but Saturday Night Live quipster, quipster. <laughs> Guys, if any journalist begins to describe me as a quipster, a quipster I, I think that's the day my streaming career ends I, I I never want to be known as a quipster please Saturday Night Live quipster Bowen Yang seems to have hoped that Musk's social media memo was nothing more than a bad joke what the F does this even mean Yang 30 years old question in an Instagram story post attached to, to a screenshot of the SpaceX pioneers tweet Imagine being so uptight that that a tweet like that has you totally freaked out. That's like, <laughs> what the f does this even mean? Fellow SNL jokester, Ad Bryant, echoed Yang's concerns about Musk, hailed the third richest person in the world according to Forbes Real Time Billionaire Board, and his forthcoming term of Master of Ceremonies. As Master Ceremonies, Bryant, 33, reposted a tweet from Bernie Sanders as a thinly veiled dart aimed at Musk, which read, The 50th wealthy people in America today own more wealth than the bottom half of our people. She um, said, Let me repeat that because it's almost too absurd to believe the 50 wealthiest people in this country own more than some of the 165 million Americans. That is a moral obscenity. The cyber barb continued. (laughs) The cyber barb. Have you guys ever been embroiled in a cyber barb? I think that might be my favorite new term, cyber barb. Maybe that could be like a new, um, maybe that could be like a new internet, like series. This Friday night on Cyber Barb. Billionaire inventor tycoon Elon Musk has a Twitter dust up with SNL cast member A.D. Bryant in one for the ages. Don't miss it as Bryant retweets a post from Bernie Sanders from six weeks ago as a swipe aimed at Elon Musk. Find out what happens next on Cyber Barbs. SNL's online audience eagerly took to Twitter, airing their grievances about Musk's impending appearance. Oh, God. So here's the thing, guys. And this is what I don't like about kind of like this cancel culture kind of stuff where people... Des- there's a certain segment of people in our population now who desperately search uh, to find like one of your most maybe ill-worded tweets that you've ever tweeted out in your whole life. And then they try to sum up your entire life and your entire career and your entire embodiment as a person uh, in one tweet. And then they like to 
uh, crucify you on that one tweet. And to me, that's just no way but to go through life, guys. No way to go through life. You got to relax. You just got to relax. Uh, Lucha Doe says, do these SNL dweebs know? Do the, these SNL dweebs do know they perform mediocre sketch comedy for a living, right? 